Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Carlos Takam, who was Anthony Joshua's last opponent, where he got stopped in round number 10, was it? I think it was number 10 out of 12. Um, some say that maybe Carlos Takam got stopped prematurely. Some say he got stopped maybe a few rounds too late. So if it was going to be stopped, it should have been stopped a few rounds before then. But either way, no matter how you look at it, he gave a good account of himself against Anthony Joshua, even though he did lose, I'd say, every round up to that point. Um, he's been in there with uh, some quality quality fighters. Joseph Parker, Alexander Povetkin. Um, he, he has lost against those. But anyway, he's got a fight in April coming up with an opponent yet to be announced, I believe. But he's called out Dillian White. And he says that he's got a fight in April. Then after then, he wants to return to the UK and take on Dillian White. Dillian White said that he's happy to fight Carlos Takam. But obviously, first things first, he's got Lucas Brown to be thinking about. He doesn't want to be thinking about any other fights right now. So Lucas Brown is his priority. But he did say one, one fight at a time. And then certainly Carlos Takam. He's quite willing to dance with him, if you like. Um, of course, Dean did say, just remember now, I did offer you this fight before and you said no. Now, of course, a lot of this is going to be dependent on what happens with the WBC mandatory situation. Um, are they going to call this fight between Dillian White and Lucas Brown a official final eliminator to become mandatory for the WBC? If they do do that, which um, I'm hearing that they might, then obviously he's going to be looking at facing Deontay Wilder because the WBC will call for the mandatory this summer. That means he could be next in line to be fighting Deontay Wilder. Um, so that's probably going to be his priority. But if that doesn't happen and all other things and here, there and everywhere, if he gets to choose somebody and if he's not told to face or he doesn't have the option to face Deontay Wilder or maybe the WBC may say to him, look, you know, you and Dominic Brazil need to get it on for the official mandatory, then obviously these fights take priority. But for me, I think Dillian White versus Carlos Takam, that's a very, very good fight. Um, I do favour Dillian White quite heavily in that fight. I think that um, he's probably got a bit too much for Carlos Takam. I think Takam will walk on to some crazy shots from Dillian White. Now against Anthony Joshua, Takam did did pretty well really I mean he showed that he was durable um, against Povetkin he showed that he could stand there and trade and go toe to toe with um, Joseph Parker I know some people have it that Carlos Takam beat Joseph Parker because Joseph Parker he did gas out in that fight but for me uh, Joseph Parker he won that fight very close fight but he did win it um, but against Dillian White I think it's probably come a bit too late for Carlos Takam now. Um, I think we've seen that against Joshua. The fact that um, usually when he's getting punched, he'll keep on coming forward. But against Joshua, he was on the back foot. And Dillian White punches very, very hard. Especially the body shots. Hence the reason the body snatcher. Can Carlos Takam take him? Well, maybe. I mean, he's very, very chiseled. And he does have a rock-solid body by, by the looks of it. But like I said, Dillian White does punch very hard. So drop your thoughts below. Is this a fight? If Dillian White doesn't get Wilder or isn't told to face Dominic Brazil for a final eliminator, would you be quite happy seeing Dillian White take on Carlos Takam? Would that be a headline event for the O2 Arena? Or is that an undercard fight? Would you prefer if Dillian White went after the likes of Jaron Miller? Someone like that. So drop your thoughts below. Who do you have winning between Dillian White and Carlos Takam? For me, it's a very good fight, but I do favour Dillian quite heavily in that fight. That's just my opinion, of course. So drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.